Hey guys, so over the last few days, um, I've been getting a lot of requests for my Apex Legends settings. Um, a clip of mine ended up going absolutely crazy. Uh, and you guys were really showing it a lot of love. I appreciate uh, Apex as well for going and giving it love, for retweeting it. Uh, it was definitely uh, unexpected. Um, but one of the biggest comments I keep seeing on there is my settings quality. Um, how do I get the game to look so good? Uh, what am I running? So I will put all my PC specs in the description. Um, I am running in uh, Ryzen 9 with a 3070. That's, you know, the, the big boys in there. Um, I'll list all the other stuff. Uh, but we're going to go quickly into the video. All right, so let's start off display mode, uh, full screen. Aspect ratio 16 by 9. I run 1920 by 1080 native. Uh, brightness, I leave at 50%. I don't really mess with that. I never had an issue with the brightness in Apex. Uh, field of view, 106. Um, for the ability scaling, I do enable it. I just, uh, I, I don't know how much of a difference that actually makes, but I like it on. Uh, screen shake, I definitely put it down to minimum. Uh, V-Sync, always disabled. So this is the first setting that I really think matters. Uh, the reflex for the responsiveness. Um, so with the settings being higher, I had this turned off for a bit and it really fumbled the bag. Um, I was losing a lot of frames. Uh, once I turned it back on though, it seemed to be all right. I run at 144 uh, practically the whole time with these settings. Um, I never have really any FPS drop unless it's like an end game with a whole lot of gibbies and stuff like that. It doesn't really ever bother. Um, aliasing, I do TSAA. I run 32 gigs of RAM, so I have my streaming budget all the way up. Um, for filtering, I used to keep it at 16, um, but I didn't notice too much of a difference at 8. Uh, it still looks really crisp. Um, I kind of low my, lower my GPU a little bit. I'm not running it so crazy. Um, I turned it down to a four and I did notice uh, a difference. So once I put it back up to eight, that was fine. Um, I don't notice any drops. Uh, for ambient, um, this is another one. I had this on low for a bit and I, I was getting some weird color spikes, um, like through bubble fights uh through storm that i didn't really like in my footage so i turned it back up to medium and it was fine i don't notice a difference between medium and high so medium is just fine for sun and shadow just both on low same thing don't notice the difference might as well save the gpu while you, while you can uh same thing for the spot shadow detail i put that on low these are two big ones i do notice the difference though in the volumetric and the dynamic spot shadows um, having them disabled really uh, made my colors go wonky like when I was running through caves and when I was um, you know looking the sun directly in while I was shooting I was noticing a lot of glares and stuff that I didn't like my footage I turned them on now and it helps keep it really smooth it doesn't put you know big blotches of color in, in one kind of corner um, so it definitely helps for color correcting just making your stuff look good um, as for the rest of this stuff, I just keep it pretty much medium, medium, low, medium. I just keep it right in the middle. Um, this is like stuff that doesn't really matter as much. Um, you can play with it as you will. Model detail, I, I would think, you know, definitely for if you want the, the models of the characters to look good. Um, but I didn't notice a big difference between high or medium, so I just kept them all there. Now for the big boy. If you notice, my col my colors of my lobby look a lot different than normal. If you hit all F3 and you have a Nvidia graphics card, this will pull up your game filter. So I have a color game filter on. If you turn it off, you see how it just sucks all the color out of it. It just looks dark. It looks like it has no detail really. Um, so to do a new one, these are presets. You got one, two, and three. So for the sake of this, we'll do a new preset of three. It'll go here, add a filter, and you could you get all these. Um, I've messed around with a lot of these. Um, you could do some cool stuff if you want to mess around for a video. I've done it. I've just changed, you know, put a whole different filter on just for just just to give it a go. But for my normal game to game, I do color, 
and then you'll come down here and it'll give you a drop boxes. Tint color, zero. The intensity, zero. I put temperature at negative 10, and then I put my vibrance all the way up to 100. And that's it guys. Um, really easy. Uh, if you have a good PC, you should be able to run these no problem. Uh, you will lose a few frames with the, um, with the filter on it. Um, you can just play around with stuff. The filter I, I think would be mo more important than most stuff because it, it, it brightens everything up. So if you guys want me to do some more videos like this, leave a comment down, give it a like, um, subscribe. I got a lot of content coming out the next few weeks. Um, and I'd really love to share it all with you guys. So have a great weekend and see you next time.